This lesson is part one of fractions, and it's about equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are two fractions that, although they use different numbers, they actually represent the same thing. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Well, we're going to look at first the fraction of half, which looks like this. It's like getting a pie and cutting it into two pieces. Well, what about if what we do with the pie is we cut it into four pieces, as shown just here? How many pieces do you need to eat half of this pie? probably worked it out, it's two. It looks like this. And what you'll probably notice is that a half, one over two, is exactly the same as saying two over four. So what you can see is one half and two fourths are the same thing, same amount, different numbers. And what about maybe we cut this pie into eight pieces? Okay, how many bits would we need to actually eat to have half? It's four. So one half, two fourths, four eighths, they're all exactly the same things. So you can see this pattern really well using the pictures which show that you're dealing with each time exactly the same amount, it's just different numbers. So how do you convert between equivalent fractions without going through the ordeal of drawing them up every time? Well, say we're trying to get one half and we're trying to change it to a number over four. Well, we look at the bottom numbers here. What you'll notice is to get from two to four, what you have to do is you have to multiply by two. So you do the same to the top number, one times two is two. So you want to get from one half to a number over eight without drawing it. Well, you look at a half, the bottom number two to get to the bottom number eight. Two times four is eight, so one times four is four. The similar thing happens if you want to convert, say, from two over four to a number over two. It's called simplifying. Well, you can look at four to get to two. You actually have to divide by two. So for the top number two divided by two is one. And as you'll see, a similar thing with the fours, dividing by four. What you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So here's a couple of examples. The first one we'll look at, three fifths, you want to get it to become a number over 15. So five to get to 15, you have to multiply by three. What you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So we also have to multiply the top number by three. Three times three is nine. Pretty easy. Another example is say something like four sevenths. We want it to get to be a number over 35. So we look at the bottom numbers. To get from 7 to 35, we have to multiply by 5, so we also have to multiply by 5 at the top. What you do to the top, you do to the bottom. And 4 times 5 is 20. So 4 sevenths is the same as 20 over 35. Pretty easy, once again. All you're doing is you're dealing with the same amounts and different numbers. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.